contribution bin tonight, Lefty? Huh? You said be right back, I think. Isn't that the only thing you typed all fucking night? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, mod me. I said be right back. Okay, I've earned it. Uh, I'm going to mod him just for the hell of it. Okay, fucked out. I'm working on it. God damn it. I can't mod you when you PM me, you dumb ass. <sighs> My computer has limited capacity. All right, back to where we were. Kitties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Karina. Karina. Where the hell you been, Karina? Huh? What have you, you been doing? Talking about anti-bullshit man all week again. I haven't seen you. Haven't, you haven't done nothing. Nothing. Not even like a smiley face. Nothing. I've been nasty <laughs> this week. I got a sting by a wasp like two days ago and I had a pumpkin face, I swear. My eyes were swollen. My lips were swollen. I was numb all over. It was painful and it was nasty. I love the way you say pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, a lot of good words in there. But anyway, <laughs> uh, wasp. Yeah, the trouble. I had that when I was a kid. I got stung really bad by a whole bunch of yellow jackets. Everybody thought somebody beat the shit out of me. I was just a mess. Yeah, now I'm down to mellow face. I'm still swollen up a bit. I, I never knew I was allergic to wasps. I never got stung before. Yeah, I guess it depends on how you get stung. You know, <coughs> you know, and how much venom they shoot you up with, I guess. I had a also. friend that got stung in the fucking eye one time. Like, they hosed the, the beehive, and they all came after the little kid. <laughs> like, they all like, get that one, he's easy. And they all, like, attacked the shit out of him. One got him in the eye. It was, like, really bad. Yeah, well, that's how I got it when I was a kid. I, I actually couldn't see for a whole day. I mean, I just, no vision at all for a whole day. <laughs> that would be a great Gary video. <laughs> yeah. Well, the great video would have been if me in the street when it happened, because the nest was right below our mailbox, which was across the street, and so it was just like in the movies. All of a sudden, there was just they were all over me, and I'm I'm running through the I'm walking through the street, and I can't see, and I'm I'm just waving my arms and trying to find some way to get away from the bees. And I finally trip over the curb and I fall down, and I'm trying to get up again. And they're still stinging me, and so it would have been great movie footage. I'm kidding. <clears throat> protecting it from wasps and such, I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's just using it as a cure. The blood of kittens is good for a wasp thing. I'll suck some blood out of it. Goddamn Romanians. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, shark bite. You got a shark story. Shark story is a damn good thing to have. <laughs> this girl I, was, I saw last night, she had a full, uh, she had all the teeth. She had the jaw and every tooth of a shark. It was pretty impressive. I guess. I, you know, I've all sort of seen those before, but, you know, I guess if it's her own private one, that's pretty good. Yeah, it was like in her room, hung on her wall. It was like, that that belongs somewhere besides in your fucking shithole room. Hey, um, did, did any of you, um, see the Amazing Atheist interview Howard Bloom? I didn't even know no, who who sober. who the hell Howard Bloom was. And so who, why the fuck? I couldn't even watch. I got halfway through his stupid one of those stupid male ones of his, like men only, and he's listening like ten things. And I got to like five things. And I just said, I can't even watch this anymore. This is an unwatchable video. Ugh. So anyway, what, no, what was the of interview? All videos are unwatchable anymore. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Some of them are not unwatchable. <laughs> this was unwatchable. I mean, I could not fucking watch anymore. Howard Bloom, he wrote the Lucifer Principle. You, uh, you Who made cares? a video about that a couple well, years, right, ago. So, years ago. Yeah, so we interviewed him about what? How to be a fucktard, or how to be a bigger fucktard, or am I a big enough fucktard? So well, I, actually, I was just wondering if you'd wondering. seen it. If if you hadn't seen it, then 
it's not really worth talking about. It's kind of it was kind of dumb. It was just it's just like maybe we could have made fun of him or whatever. I don't know. Now I guess you should have brought up something that would be interesting, even if I didn't know about it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but whatever. I was talking about that stupid District Nine movie before Karina, because I saw that movie now, and your review was totally sucky. <laughs> that movie sucks so bad. What movie? <laughs> that that movie rolled. Rolled. District Nine. District Nine. It was insanely yeah, stupid. Yeah, I know you're not gonna like it. Six million four hundred and thirty-six plot flaws in the first ten minutes. I mean, it went over a million plot flaws in the first ten minutes. They ran out of fucking gas. Do you know that's the story? You should have just said it. Oh, yeah, well, there's this alien species, and they have this big giant spaceship, and guess what? They ran out of gas. And so they stopped at Earth, and the only smart one shot down, buried himself in the ground so he could make some more gas so then they could go back home again. That's the fucking story. They ran the fuck out of gas. It was an yeah, that you couldn't, that The whole fucking idea that you couldn't fire a weapon unless your chromas, the weapons, can can tell your DNA. And they can do it with so much sophistication that you can't fool them with fake DNA or dead DNA or amputated DNA. No, you can only fool them when your brain is connected to your DNA. I mean, it was preposterously stupid. It's not stupid, I think that's a good idea. I mean, if you buy a gun, you're the only one who can use it. You know, no more accidents with the kids going around and shooting each other. But it was not that no one killing. else could use it. It was that no species, no one, no one, no one outside your species could use it and they couldn't fool it. I mean, the fact that you couldn't fool, what do you mean you can't fool it? Of course you could fool it. It's a stupid gun. It's it's a gun. You can't. You're telling me I can't fool a gun? Come on. I have. I can. I have all this technology. I got a whole fucking spaceship to dissect, full of technology, and I can't figure out how to fool a gun. A gun is smarter than me. I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. Well, it's the humans that couldn't fool the gun, not the aliens. But the point is, is he, well, of course, how can we not fool a gun? What is the gun doing? I mean, what, what is it doing to the skin that it's saying, okay, I can tell that this is a fake skin. Come on. The whole idea was just stupid. I'm sorry. The whole thing was just fucking idiotic. <laughs> like, you know, so one smart alien on the whole fucking spaceship. Oh, come on. Oh, it was just so, and, and it just happens. There's one million aliens. No, there was actually two million at this time. Uh, in District 9, there's two million aliens, right? And one of them is putting the last drop of gasoline in the gas can. And who shows up? The police. What a, on that particular day, the most important day in their species history, it just happens to be that out of two million aliens, the guy shows up with a TV crew at his house. Oh yeah, no, oh, that's just a coincidence. Well, anyway, it was just too many plot flaws, but there was, and they should have made two separate movies, because I tell, tell you one thing though, I mean, doing the little cybernetic machine warfare thing, that was sort of cool, you know, guy inside of the machine suit, that sort of worked, but everything else was just completely fucked hearted. I mean, the aliens running around with a little shield made out of metal, a little two-inch shield, you know, two-foot shield, yes, all the bullets will hit the shield and I'll be fine, no problem. Ah, uh, we have just so many things, just too stupid. What about Terminator Salvation? That was pretty good. Well, I haven't seen that. God, Rocky, who said that? Who said that? They deserve to be yeah, kicked well, just for fucking yeah, well, saying that. I know, well, Rocky's a problem sometimes. <laughs> Rocky, shame on you. I thought it was good. Go see a real movie then, will you please? 
because that is not a good movie. 